Hey there, welcome back to this playlist on Tosca 2024. We have been talking about all the latest features which has been introduced in this uh, new version of Tosca. So let's move on to our next topic which is about accessibility testing. First, uh, let's understand what is accessibility testing. So in very basic terms, it is the process of uh, doing some testing to evaluate apps to ensure that it is usable by people with disabilities. So anyone um, who cannot uh, either see or talk or uh, cannot uh, touch or cannot uh, make out what is there in that particular application like a normal user uh, is basically uh, someone with some disability, right? So the applications need to uh, be built uh, in such a way that these people can access the application and accessibility testing makes sure that um, all these controls uh, which are built in an application should follow certain um, rules and regulations so that it can be used by these people with disabilities. Now, coming to why it is important, first of all, uh, it helps you to create an inclusive uh, user experience because your application can be accessed uh, by all the people no matter if they are normal users or people with disabilities. Now, according to uh, stats, there are over 1 billion people, which is almost 17% of the world's population, who live with some form of disability. So you can uh, imagine uh, if you don't build a application which is uh, accessible to these particular users, you are losing out on a lot of different customers. Now coming to the next point is legal compliance. Um, so there are different uh, digital accessibility laws uh, which mandate organizations to comply with uh, making their websites or applications more accessible to people with disabilities. And that there are more rules and regulations coming in the future years where, um, where the organizations have to do more audits and then uh, they will have greater scrutiny in terms of how they are building their applications. Coming to uh, the last point is um, having an expanded market reach. So we talked about uh, the number of people who have some kind of disability. So if you are not uh, catering to this particular audience, then we um, stand a risk of losing out on a lot of revenue. So these are all the points why accessibility is so important. Um, and in order to make sure that our applications are accessibility compliant, we need to perform some testing. Now, when we perform this testing, there are some challenges, right? So we can do testing manually or uh, through automation, but if we are going to do it manually, then it is going to take a lot of time and that will uh, slow us down, especially in an agile um, environment where we have a lot of releases so in order to speed up we need to use some automation tool now another factor here is the limited knowledge and skills of uh, the teams right so in order to implement accessibility testing uh, we require certain uh, knowledge of specific coding practices or technologies which um, not everyone will have so in order to bridge that gap um, we should be using some automation tool so using Tosca, we can easily uh, test uh, or run accessibility checks across all the tests which we have developed in Tosca. So let's see how we can implement this um, and how we can get the results uh, in Tosca for our accessibility checks. So coming back to Tosca, uh, here to in 2024 features folder, uh, let's go ahead and create in the test case. And we are going to say uh, accessibility check, right? And here um, we are going to add a module here and we will call this check web page accessibility. This is the standard module which can be used. We need to provide a search criteria. So here either we can provide the title or URL and then we can provide a window index. So I'm going to check the accessibility of this particular website which is the demo web shop. So I'm going to take this URL here and paste it here. I can also provide uh, 
the title of this particular website which is a demo web shop so i'll use this regular expression here and window index i will choose one if there are multiple windows we can choose two as well right now the important thing um, to note here is we need some test configuration parameters now uh, we need uh, a test configuration parameter for browser so let's go ahead and add that here and we'll choose chrome as the value here we also need another test configuration parameter which is known as run accessibility analysis now this has got different values uh, one of the values is disabled so if you mark uh, or if you choose disabled here then even if you run this particular test case uh, it will not do the accessibility checks right if you uh, mark it specified web page then uh, it will check it for that particular web page um, after inputs and before inputs uh, this I will not be using right now so I'll explain it later what it is so let's choose a specified web page here in the test configuration and then let's go back to details okay so we'll change the work state to completed here that's all we need to do here right now we cannot run this from the scratch book it will not give us the right results so what we will do is uh, we will create an execution list for this so I'm going to drag this uh, into the execution list I'm going to create a new execution list and call it accessibility test okay and then uh, we are going to run this it should take you a couple of seconds um, to get the results now here you can see in the execution list section okay so these are all the different accessibility bugs or issues which has been found by tosca so there are different categories um, of the accessibility checks uh, which tosca provides okay and uh, these are basically the severity levels so critical means it prevents access to fundamental features or content completely blocking interactions for accessible users okay so this critical uh, bugs should be fixed then there are serious uh, checks uh, so this is partial prevention um, of access to particular features and then there are moderate and then there are minor right so first uh, the critical ones should be fixed then the serious one should be fixed and then if there is time uh, we can also fix the moderate ones so these are all the different uh, checks which has been performed by tosca and it has returned all these different results now we cannot see here uh, what exactly is the problem here and uh, to have more detailed view of this accessibility checks we can also generate a report okay so how you can do that is you can go to the execution list right click and then uh, there's an option to export accessibility report so click on that and then uh, it will ask you to choose the rule set now there are different rule sets you can see wcaga and wcagaa and then you can also choose a custom rule set okay so there are different uh, rule sets here so if we know uh, what are we checking then we can also do a custom selection but i will uh, stay with the default one right and then there are two formats uh, you can uh, generate a report in json or pdf so i'm going to generate it in pdf okay so i'm going to generate it here and now uh, this is the report which uh, we will get okay so it will tell you when you have run this and which rule set was selected uh, this is the summary so overall accessibility confirmance so 85% uh, passed but then 14% has failed the number of accessibility issues and uh, what are these so you can see there are 33 image related uh, 31 target size and two label related then there is severity of issues um, critical and serious and then um, per accessibility criteria what is the percentage if you want to go in more details um, it will also give you that okay so which control what was the impact uh, the summary and then uh, it will also tell you um, what is the fix 
okay so this is where um, all the details of all the accessibility issues uh, will be uh, populated and you can share this report with your developers uh, who will be working on fixing this accessibility issues now tosca uses a particular library which is called the dqx core library in order to uh, perform all these different tests right so this is how you can easily uh, check for um, accessibility issues across any particular application using tosca so there is a standard module which you can use and then um, there is uh, this configuration parameter which we have already seen and if we go ahead and disable this now if we choose the disabled and uh, if i go and run this uh, this time you will notice that there will be no accessibility checks right so let me go ahead and run this quickly and now in this particular run you will see that the result is no accessibility test results the tcp is missing or not enabled okay so you can also disable uh, even if you have a written accessibility test if you don't want to run it then just disable it using the configuration parameter that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video